Hello YouTubers, this is Anubafire. Today we got a full release information plus a pre-recorded RTV on the Drake Corsair. Here's what you need to know about the Drake Corsair in 2 minutes and 10 seconds. The Drake Corsair was announced on the 21st of March 2019 as the newest concept ship. It's large and focused on exploration. It has a unique side turret configuration, individual crew rooms, a galley, and everything that you'd expect on a long-range exploration ship. The ramp and cargo area can carry 72 SCU, and that gets eaten up if you decide to carry a vehicle, which is not included. Price-wise, the Corsair seems to sit between the Freelancer Dur and the Connie Aquila, but it's much closer in footprint to the Connie at 55 meters long. The cockpit layout screams Drake. It starts out similar to the Cutlass where there's a tandem seat setup, but the co-pilot ends up below the pilot. This was said to correct a situation where the crew had difficulty looking down on Drake's ships. To me, this seems like more of a case of making something different, just to add diversity in the fleet. If a pilot approached a ship designer and said that they needed to see down, glass sections would be added below their feet. The idea of having to ask a second person what the ground looks like was likely thought to be a great opportunity to inject multiplayer teamwork. So, form over function. The wing configuration is another odd design choice. Putting two wings on one side adds an inconsistent torque to the frame and atmosphere. The ship should want to constantly yaw when flying level, but they confirmed that the actual impact of an asymmetrical design in atmosphere would be minimal. The weapons are formidable. It has a total of six forward-facing hardpoints, four size 5 and two size 4. It has three turrets, one rearward-facing remote turret with a pair of size 2 mounts, and two side-facing man turrets, one per side, which also mount a pair of size 2 weapons. The Corsair pilot does have missiles, but nothing like what you'd get on a Connie. The Corsair doesn't have a snub fighter dock. It won't take a Tonk, but it will take anything rover and down, so speeders and grav levs are fine. Smaller wheeled vehicles are good too, but that costs cargo space. They confirmed that the interior Drake design language is carried over to the Corsair. You're going to see familiar features from the Cuddy and the Caterpillar. They confirmed that the side turrets cannot augment the forward guns, and they confirmed that it will have duration, but it won't have anything like the legs on a Carrick. And that's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.